Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at subs. Now, you've seen these before. You've seen our main sub, and you've seen our subs that hold the events for, let's say, if you click a button. In this tutorial, we're going to be creating our own subs. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll create a new project, and we will just call it subs and make sure you've selected Windows Forms application and go ahead and click OK. So let's go ahead and resize our form and we'll come over here to our toolbox and we'll add a button and we'll set the text to run sub and we'll go ahead and change the name property to button run sub. Now let's go ahead and double click on run sub and you can see here that it opens up the event handler for button run sub. Now if you still don't understand event handlers that's perfectly fine we're going to be covering them a couple, to, couple tutorials after this one. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to come down below button run sub and we're going to start off by using the keyword private. Now basically what this means is that this sub cannot be accessed by any other class outside of the form1.vb. So if somebody made an object of form1.vb and showed their own form1, they couldn't call the sub that we're about to make. So we'll just do private sub, add numbers. So we're just going to add a couple num numbers here. We'll add empty parameters because we aren't going to need any right now. So let's just go ahead and create a couple of variables. So let's just do dim num1 as integer we'll set it equal to just a long number like that dim num2 as integer and we'll set it equal to another long number or here let's do something else and now what we're going to do is we are going to message box dot show num1 plus num2 okay so now that we have this sub we can use it throughout this class so let's go ahead and under our event handler for the button clicked whenever the button is clicked we want to run the add numbers sub so we'll just go ahead and type add numbers and you can see it pops up for us so we can go ahead and just press tab and then put our empty parameters right there so now if we go ahead and run this program our form one pops up and if we click run sub it's going to give us those two numbers added together Now, I'm going to talk a little bit more about what private it means. Uh, I think I stopped myself there for a second. But um, only this class can access it. Nothing outside of it can access it. And so what this does is it pretty much protects your, protects your sub from being run um, anywhere else because you don't need it to be run anywhere else. If you wanted it to, you can use the keyword public so that it can be used outside of that class. Now we're going to be using this keyword a lot when we go into creating classes and other stuff like that. But for now, when you're creating subs inside of your Form 1 class, go ahead and call them private. And you can see that all subs end with an end sub. And when you type out the your private sub and then the name of your sub and press enter, it's going to automatically add end sub. And now the name of your sub can be anything you want it to be. This is just something for you to identify what it is and for you to call it later on. So um, go ahead and create some subs. It's uh, They're very useful. It helps you uh, out with programming a lot so that you don't have to type, to type the same code over and over and over again. You can just call that sub whenever you want to. And um, after this, we're going to be talking about functions and passing values to subs and functions. So I'm um, going to practice a bit. And once you've got that down, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. And thanks for watching.